Hearty wishes to all. Welcome to Nine English. Let's step into a new lesson. Before that, I am willing to ask you few questions. When you were small, what do you mother or father or grandparents would have done to put you into sleep either they would have sung a lullaby or they would have narrated a story okay here our chapter is regarding stories let's move on to our chapter and i request you all to take out your english reader and open page number 111 Let me read out. Please follow. All stories are analogies. In the beginning, all the tales and stories belong to Nyami, the sky god. But Kaku Anansi, the spider, yearned to be the owner of all the stories known in the world, and he went to Nyami and offered to buy them. The sky god said, "I am willing to sell all the stories, but the price is high. Many people have come to me offering to buy, but the price was too high for them. Rich and powerful families were not able to buy. Do you think you can do it?" Anansi replied to the sky god. What is the price? My price is three things. The sky god said, "I must first have Muburo, the onyx. I must then have Anini, the great python. I must then have Osabu, the leopard. For these things, I will sell you the right to tell all the stories." And then she said. Now let's move on to the chapter. 
these are the five characters that is spider hornet python and leopard hope you all would have seen these four characters in your real life either directly or through pictures yes now i'll explain you the content quaku anansi that is a spider he wanted to be the owner of all stories actually the real owner of all stories it can be a real story or an imaginary story that is the tales a uh, god nyami was a real owner but spider wished to be the owner so he approached god and he asked to offer the ownership to himself but god said if you want to be the owner of all the stories the price you have to pay me the price is so high even the rich and the powerful people were not able to pay me but kaku anansi with full confidence he said that i can do that tell me what is the price so the god explained the price and the form first he wanted the hornets that is the momoro next he wanted the poisonous python with a name anini and then third he asked for the ferocious leopard with the name asaru kaku anansi confidently he said i get it to you and he went back home and he started to plan on it first he tried to get momoro the hornets to god so he took a calabash god that is a vegetable which similarly looks like a bottle god he took it he made a hole out of it and he filled it with water then he went near a tree where the hornets lived and that water which is there inside the god he poured it on himself so that he was dripping then the remaining water he poured on hornets so that they too were dripping then he went near the hornets by placing the canvas god on his head so that to show that the god is protecting him from rain and he asked the hornets why you people are getting wet in rain the momoro asked him how can we protect it when it is rain then kaku anansi said you people please get inside the god so that you will not get wet believing his words the hornets flew inside the god one by one as they all flew away he took a ball of grass and covered the hole and then he said you people all are foolish now you all are under my control then he is taking that to god what is happening later Words. For example, I have bread, butter, and jam.
whether if but though because but the mainly used conjunctions are the abbreviations of fanboys now i want you children to take out your note and frame few sentences using this seven mainly used conjunction words first you have to note down the seven conjunctions and then one by one get into the statement so in 